Hi everyone, Stephanie with Mama Bear Inc. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another card making video. If this is your first visit, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. Today we are going to be making this pretty card and this uses Flirty Flamingo cardstock and that's one of our new ink colors for 2016 to 7 to 18. Yes. 16 to 18. The indie colors always get me. Uh, but anyhow, this card was inspired by one that I saw by literally myjoy.com. Um, she used different colors uh, and she put her sentiment together a little bit differently. So um, this is kind of my take on that card. And so it uses a couple of new items from our occasions catalog and we'll kind of go over what we need to put the card together. So we are going to have a top folding card base in Flirty Flamingo. So this is cut 11 by four and a quarter. There you go, you can see it, by four and a quarter. And then I've scored it down the center at five and a half inches. And we'll just go ahead and fold that over. And next we need um, another layer of Flirty Flamingo. And this one is cut five and a quarter by four and it's textured. Can you see that? It is textured with our brand new um, falling petals embossing folder. And this is one of our larger embossing folders. So, but it's six inches so you can fit it through the uh, big shot either way. And so I just put my layer of Flirty Flamingo inside the embossing folder, ran it through my big shot, and it comes out with this beautifully raised or embossed design. And so we're going to, uh, that's going to be our layer on top of our card. And I'm kind of a sucker for tone on tone layering. I just like the way that it looks. So that is those two layers. And then we have a piece of Whisper White cut to five and a quarter by four, and that's gonna be our inside. So for our embellishments on the front of the card, we are going to be using uh, one of these beautiful little doilies. And these things are pretty cool. They're very vanilla on one side and whisper white on the other. So you can choose to use either one. Um, we're gonna use the very vanilla side today and that's gonna go down. Now these um, are available in the Occasions catalog. I think they're part of the Falling in Love um, I think, yeah, Falling in Love Suite. Uh, these are lace doilies and it looks like you get 24 per package, so it's a good value. Um, one of the other embellishments are these little Falling in Love embellishments. And these look a lot like ones that we had not too awful long ago. Uh, they're these little flowers with the gemstones, but these are not silver, these are very vanilla in color. And so those are really pretty. We're gonna need one of those for our card today. Uh, we're also going to need a scrap of Sahara sand, um, and as you can see, we're going to cut a piece out of it. Now, this is what we cut out. Um, whoa, I dropped it. And this little guy is actually a die from the um, Flourish Thinlets die set, uh, and these are just amazing in the annual annual catalog. Uh, and if you don't have these, these are a must-have for your next order. And we're using this one right here. Um, and you're going to want to use the precision base plate on your Big Shot die cutting machine when you cut these out because there's lots of little pieces. Um, as you can see, they are very detailed when you cut them out. Okay, and then we just need a one inch strip of vellum available in the annual catalog and a three quarter inch strip of whisper white uh, and I used whisper white because I wanted this strip to kind of stand out from the uh, very vanilla of the doily piece all right so let's get started the first thing I want to do um, because I'm kind of I'm just completely addicted to these Wink of Stella glitter pens. And this is the clear glitter pen available in our annual catalog. And mine is almost empty. Uh, but I want to cover this little leaf piece with the Wink of Stella because I just like the, the glitter that it gives it. It just is a nice little detail for the card. And we're not gonna be using a bunch of the stem. We are going to cut this little piece up uh, for the front of our card. So I just want to coat the leaves mainly. Okay. 
And so that is done. Now we gotta cut this little guy into pieces. And I forgot my scissors. Okay, I'm back. All right, so we are going to use this top part, all is one. So we're just gonna snip that off right there. And then we're going to use these little leaves kind of separately. So I'm just gonna snip them in half and then snip off the stem pieces. Oh, I turned everything there. Okay, snip off the little stem pieces. And you're not gonna see the tops of those, so don't worry if you don't get it just perfect. All right, <coughs> excuse me. So now we've got our little leaves cut apart. And let's start putting together our sentiment, okay? So this is my three quarter inch piece of Whisper White. And I am going to be using a sentiment from, wow, I really got that crooked, didn't I? I'm gonna be using a sentiment from another set in the annual catalog called Feather Together. And I'm gonna be using this, thank you for all you do. Now on this one, we made it a happy anniversary card, uh, but I use more thank you cards than I do anniversary cards. So I wanted to do a thank you. Uh, plus I haven't put ink on any part of this set yet. So <laughs> wanted to use that. And I am all kinds of over the place today. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to line up my white strip here and I'm going to stamp the uh, sentiment in flirty flamingo ink. And here I've got it mounted on a clear block. And this is a clear stamp, which I really like because you can see through them when you're stamping on something that's kind of skinny like this and make sure that you are getting it in the right place. And so we're just gonna stamp that down and straight up. And there is our sentiment for our card. And that's all the stamping really that happens on this card. So now we need to uh, take our three quarter inch, or I'm sorry, our one inch piece of vellum. And we're gonna be using our uh, banner punch, okay? So this punch, makes banners in three different sizes, um, but you can actually make banners in any size that you want. All you need to do if they don't fit inside the grooves, like you can see this piece doesn't completely fit inside the groove, just center it up. Center it up on the groove, push it all the way back into the punch. It goes a little further than you think it does. All right, push it all the way back, center it up, give it a punch, and there you've got your little fishtail, okay? And we're gonna do that with this thank you piece as well. Now you see this is quite a bit smaller than the smallest groove. So again, we're just gonna center it up, push it all the way back, punch, and we've got our little fishtail. All right, so that is the triple banner punch and it's, it's just a neat one to have in your stash. Okay, so to construct this card, as you can see from the sample, we are going to lay down our doily on our textured piece first. So let's take our textured piece and our little doily here. Now we are gonna use some Tombow Mono liquid glue to lay this down. And I just kind of put, not a whole lot, well, if I can get it going here, not a whole lot, but just, well, I can't get it going at all. Come on, Tombow. Let's go. Just gonna put a little bit of glue and I know <laughs> now I've got it all over the place. Okay, little bit of glue on all these little outsides and around the center a little bit here. Thankfully, not a lot of it's going to be showing. All right, we'll set that out of the way. And take our doily and I'm just going to put it more toward the bottom and to the left-hand side. Okay, and we're just gonna lay that down just like that. And if a little bit shows through, it's not a huge deal because I used way more than I probably needed to. Okay, and so the next thing that we're gonna do is construct our little banner here. So I want to put my um, Whisper White piece on top of the vellum. And I want to give that a little bit of dimension and good Lord, I forgot dimensionals too. Okay, here we go. So I just am going to lay this down with a few dimensionals. I'm gonna kind of put them in the center, kind of under the stamped portion, because we're gonna probably cut a bit off this end. Um, and we'll just line it up on the card and, and make that happen. All right, let's get the backs off our dimensionals. 
Oh, for crying out loud. I'm having a tough time with adhesive tonight. Okay, and then we'll just center this up in the center of our vellum, just like that. And so we have kind of a double banner. And, oh, I didn't do that right. Okay, let's undo it. That's a good thing about dimensionals, <laughs> is that if when you don't, if you don't push them down really hard, you can usually lift them back up without a bunch of problems. Okay, there we go. That's better. We want the fishtails kind of close together, not the other end, because we can always cut that off. All right, and so we are going to bring our little banner here to the card. Let's see. We want it about... Oh, goodness gracious. About like that, I'd say. All right, so let's get some glue. And I'm just going to use some liquid glue because we're going over some bumpily surfaces. And I don't want to chance it that the, um, okay, let's get it straight. All right, there we go. I don't want to chance it that, and plus you can move it in case you get it off the entire card, just like I did, that uh, it'll be off the card. Or, I'm sorry, that it won't stick. Um, like, okay, I've completely lost my train of thought. So I'm using liquid glue because we have a textured surface, and a lot of times that's hard for like a tape runner or snail to grab onto. And so you just use liquid glue and it sinks into all of those little crevices. All right, so we're hanging off. We're going to turn it over and we're going to use the edge of our card as our guide so that we can cut it off clean just like that. And, and that can get set to the side. Okay, so we are almost there. I have got glue everywhere. Um, and we're going to bring in our card base. Now we are going to use a bit of snail. Uh, to attach our, and I just ran out of snail. Okay, we're not. We're going to use Tombow again. So we're just going to put some Tombow on the back of our layer piece here. Not a whole, whole lot. So back of our layer piece, and we're going to lay this down centered up with a quarter inch border all the way around. All right, that looks fantastic. And next, we're going to bring back in our, I am all over the place, our little leaves. And these are going to kind of be tucked between the vellum and the Whisper White banner with our sentiment on it. So we want to get just a little bit of Tombow glue on the back of that. And we're going to slip it in where we want it to go and push it down. Okay. And then we've got these two little guys that we're also going to slip up under, but we're going to do that over here on this side, just like that. And I'm going to kind of overlap them um, just to kind of one on top of the other here. Let's see. Yeah, just kind of like that. Okay, so there are our little leaves and you can just use a bone folder to kind of get under here and smush them down because that Tombow just takes a couple of seconds to grab. All right. And uh, then we're going to take our little flower embellishment, and that's going to go here off to the side. And I think we are probably going to use a glue dot if I could find them, but I have not remembered anything this evening. Here they are. Okay, so let's get a glue dot and put it on the back of there. Uh, maybe a couple of them. Just to make sure we have a nice secure hold. And we're going to put our little flower right here at the end. And then, as many of you know who watch my videos, I can never leave well enough alone. So we need to add some gemstones, which again, I have forgotten. Here we go. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm just having a night. Okay, and so I just want to add, let's see, let's do these little guys. Um, let's see, we'll do a little guy kind of down here. And I just, just want them kind of random on the card. So, and then we'll do one right here, and then um, kind of one not too far from it, there. 
Okay. And then did I put, okay, I didn't finish the inside of the sample. So we're just going to take our uh, whisper weight, our second whisper, or our first whisper weight piece. And we don't have any snails, so again, we're gonna use some Tombow and put it on the back and center this up on the inside of the card. This is just gonna be blank on the inside. You can, of course, decorate it if you'd like to and lay that down so we have a nice panel for writing and our card is now complete. So this is a very pretty card and you could do it in almost any color, um, any of Stampin' Up's colors because you're just using a, two neutrals basically or three neutrals uh, in the Sahara Sand and the Very Vanilla and the Whisper White um, to, to put this all together. So your base and your layered piece uh, could be any color you want it to be. And then you've just got a nice blank note card on the inside. So that is our card for today. Thank you very much for joining me. I've enjoyed spending time with you and I look forward to doing so again soon. Take care.